Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to How to Film Skateboarding number one. In this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about how to set your camera up. Right when you take your camera out, either grab a cloth or a blower and just make sure that there's no spots on it. My lens has a couple little hits on it. Luckily, you can't see them in footage though, but this is something you should do every freaking time you film. A lot of guys I know, they're constantly blowing it off the whole time. So if you wanna be like that, I highly recommend it. It can't hurt you and just always keep that lens clean, man. A little piece of dirt in your shot, just, man, it's just horrible, it kills everything. Another very important thing is to make sure that you set your white balance. I personally, honestly do go with the auto white balance quite often if it's in during the day, but sometimes when you're in like the lighting and it's kind of weird, you should either have a white card that you keep in your bag that people can white balance off, or another thing is just white balance off one of your friends who has a white t-shirt. I think everyone needs to know this when they start filming skateboarding, and a lot of people probably don't, it takes them a while to figure it out, is 60 frames per second. Every time you set your camera up, since skateboarding is a very high, fast moving sport, 60 frames per second is perfect to shoot just about everything in skateboarding, all the action. If you wanna shoot B-roll and stuff, okay, go down to 24, 30, but definitely you wanna change the setting in your camera so it's either 720, 60p or 1080, 60p. No matter what, trust me, you'll love me for this. Once you guys switch to 60 frames per second, you'll notice your footage looks a lot smoother. And since YouTube now has 60 frames per second enabled into it, all your stuff will just look really, really smooth and crisp. All right, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is setting up your shutter speed. For most cases, you're gonna to wanna to set your shutter speed somewhere between 125 and 250. If, if you look at the footage, when something's shot with a low shutter speed, you'll notice it's kind of blurry. For me anyway, I hate blurry footage. I always like my stuff just to be super crisp, so I always shoot with a pretty high shutter speed. So always make sure you guys set your shutter speed properly, otherwise you might get an amazing trick or clip and the footy just doesn't look that tight. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is your f-stop. Your f-stop's really important because it helps you determine how light or how exposed your clip is gonna be. For a uh, DSLR, it's, it's really, really, really important because a lot of the lenses you can set up and use, you can make it so it's an ultra shallow depth of field where only your subject is in focus, or you can crank it up and make it so that everything is in focus. On a VX1000 or an HVX, you mainly just kind of use it just to kind of uh, lighten or darken your image. But uh, for a DSLR, it's ultra important. Okay, so the next tip, isn't necessarily setting up your camera, it's more making sure you're prepared for the day. Make sure right when you get home from skating, charge your batteries and dump your footage. And you probably wanna have extra batteries and extra SD cards or whatever card it is you're using to shoot. But that's a big one, don't forget. Otherwise, like you might go out the next day and your battery's about to die and you're about to freaking get a tray flip down El Toro. Then you're screwed. You gotta drive home, it's done. But uh, thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you tune in next week for how to film with fish eyes. Thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed.